Hello, Taurus. I am Ulrich. I'm a Roman card reader, and today we will do the psychological, spiritual uh, card reading for the sign of uh, Taurus for the month of January. As always, we will do four card readings for the sign of Je uh, for the sign of Taurus for the month of uh, January, and these are based on the natural elements in your astrological chart, or for some of you, on your time of birth. These basic elements are air, earth, water, and fire. Now, the four objects that you always see on my table are directly connected to those elements. So you choose or you pick one that you think relates most to your personality, or you choose one you feel most comfortable with. This object of your choice, it should, or it will relate the best to your current situation. However, if the object and the related video does not match your first choice, please check the other videos that are immediately connected in the same session. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. Anyway. The matches represent the fire element, the stone represents the earth element, the aerosol spray represents the air element, and the shell represents the water element. So, uh, Taurus, here we go for your spiritual, philosophical card readings uh, for the month of January. Also, I want to add, if you have questions, you can always post them in the comments below, and of course, as soon as I have time, I will answer them. So, Taurus, here we go for your card reading. Hello Taurus and welcome to the Shell or the Water Group for your philosophical and spiritual card reading for the month of January. Uh, as the first card we see here uh, that we need to share our energy, maybe we feel very energetic in here. This card asks us to share some energy of us, maybe share some time or maybe even give some donation, give something away. Uh, we are here on earth uh, and mostly uh, Taurus, uh, he's able to generate a lot of uh, things in his life, material things. He here, it's the, the sign of the material also. Uh, anyway, uh, here, um, maybe sometimes with this card, uh, we are unwilling to share something here. Uh, maybe we don't find the right cause. Maybe we don't find it important enough. Maybe we don't think it will make a difference. But this card tells us not to fall into the trap here. Um, here, if you are not sharing uh, for uh, the wrong or the right reasons here, this card tells us now it's time to share uh, some things that you have uh, more from here. We need to show, show some uh, kindness here, uh, some hardness here. Anyway, uh, probably some people around you need some uh, kindness around you or they need you to share something with them. Now, normally, this is a card that uh, don't always appear, but here, uh, this time, um, uh, life normally don't ask this from you, but this time you are asked to share some things here. You are asked here to be, uh, to share material goods or maybe share your spirit, maybe share your time, but there is something here that asks you to share something. Uh, it's something probably you have uh, enough from. Anyway, um, Sometimes also the sharing is the ability to listen, stay calm. Uh, Taurus has very good abilities for staying calm. Uh, maybe you need to stay calm for others. Um, we Maybe we need to cook a, a meal for others. Uh, Taurus like to enjoy the gifts of life. Uh, cooking is one of them here. Maybe you are asked to cook a meal for a person, to arrange something simple for a person, maybe do some grocery, uh, lend your inner strength here. Uh, sometimes also you are uh, asked to share your patience or as, uh, maybe make somebody laugh. Anyway, uh, there is something here that you need to share with others. Uh, also, uh, this card tells not to be shy to share those gifts here because some people around you uh, really need your attention and um, your kindness. And the next card uh, that we are seeing here, um, Taurus is the sign of uh, feeling touching. Uh, they like to enjoy life. Uh, they like to take the best out of life. Uh, they like to touch things. They like to enjoy food, uh, life in itself. And here we are asked here uh, that we um, that we are uh, like our body. Maybe there's some reason here uh, that we, uh, for some reason, we don't uh, like our body. But here we are asked to love and like our body. body. Uh, we need to pay attention to it. Uh, we also need to remember that it works for you. We cannot move around anymore if we are not in physicality. Our body gives us the ability to move around. Uh, so here we are asked to treat our body like a friend. Um, 
we need to maintain it. If you have a car, you know you need to maintain the car. If you have a motorcycle, you need to maintain it. If you have a bicycle, you know you need to maintain it. So here it's asked for you that you maintain your body, that you take care of it. It protects you, it brings you everywhere, it gives you freedom, it gives you grip on the earth. Um, anyway, you need to serve your body and maintain your body here as good as your car. May, can maybe um, your personality or your ego, we all develop an ego who we are a personality in society but maybe your personality you don't actually have faith or trust in your body um, maybe you don't feel comfortable in your body maybe sometimes we are uh, over the limit with our body maybe uh, we are uh, too heavy maybe we lost too much weight it can go anyway here uh, and we we see the mirror here we need to look at our reflections and we also see uh, here there are uh, some uh, there is a hanger here and we see here that the hanger has flowers so it means the image that we are seeing here is not necessarily the right one maybe there need to make some adjustments so you can see your body flourish again anyway there's some control here asked for you uh, here uh, related to the body maybe you feel uh, not energetic maybe um, there is something wrong here uh, with these uh, cards um, anyway we need to just make some adjustments here uh, in your body here uh, you will know for yourself exactly where you are anyway uh, here we are asked to like our body to appreciate our physical self here uh, it's a gift that we uh, get the day we were born so we need to take care of it um, here we are also asked if we don't give it what it needs um, we need to um, we need to take care of it here uh, for fully experiencing uh, our body uh, all the gifts of, of of the body we need to uh, we need to see it's in good condition and sometimes here uh, maybe we need ourselves questions are you ignoring it um, do you deny it certain things um, do you it, can it not um, generate the energy it should? Um, are you it not giving it certain things here? We cannot uh, live the fully if our body is not um, in optimal condition. This is what this card here. And um, here in order, we need to take care of our body because we live in it, as I said earlier. So here it's your place of residence, also of your higher spirit. So treat uh, your body as you should. The next uh, card that we are seeing here um, uh, is the card that we uh, should take a, a breath here. Um, what does this mean? Well, probably it means that uh, you work hard. Uh, maybe you work hard for uh, gaining more material goods. Maybe you work hard for your family. Maybe you need to work hard of some conditions in your life for achieving something. But here, remember the personality that we have built. It will never be satisfied um, with the earthly conditions. It always wants more and more, and it wants you to do more, it wants you to work overtime. But here, right now, this card tells us that we need to reconnect with our body and mind. We need to take a step, a step back here. We need to catch our breath here. It's important here with this card that you breathe in the right way. Um, maybe you think if you make some adjustments in your life that your life is going to fall apart and everything will be taken away. But this card actually tells us the opposite. Um, you need to take a break away from false urges, emergencies that you created for yourself. And you need to realign with your deeper self, with a vibe that maybe you felt before that is no longer there. Maybe you collect some things for the wrong reasons. And you need to reconnect here with your mind here. This is what we are seeing here. And with this card, it's very important that we relax. You need to come to yourself. Normally, Taurus has the ability to relax. And this card tells us you to relax. You should. You should take a break of all the work that you are, are doing here. Um, you need to allow to clear your mind here. You need to follow your intuition, your guidance. If you are younger, you need to follow the guidance that is put upon you. If you're older, maybe you lost your way and you need to find uh, the guide back that you once has. You need to have faith here that everything will work out if you relax, if you are resting. You need to catch your breath here. Maybe if you observe yourself, your breathing is not correct. 
here it's like sometimes we breed too fast. Um, maybe there's some reasons for that here. Just remember there's something above us here. And this card tells us it's not the time now uh, to, to work over time. We need to take care of our body, of our mind here. And we need to share what we have already accumulated a lot of and share it with other people. So Taurus, this is the card reading for the, for the shell or the water group. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this uh, philosophical spiritual and psychological card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if this card reading don't fit you at all, please check out the three that are immediately connected here. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. If you are interested in uh, financial card readings, uh, card readings about your work, or the classic Lenormand card readings, you can find those all on my channel. Anyway, Taurus, I want to thank you for your time, uh, and I'm sure we see each other in my other videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I thank you for doing so. Goodbye, Taurus. Thank you. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to the aerosol or the air group uh, for your spiritual philosophical card reading for the month of January. As the first card here, uh, it tells us that we need to look ahead. But uh, as you see here, the person, he's carrying a backpack. This is the experiences of his life that he's carrying. We need to look ahead. But of course, we cannot forget the past. We need to uh, take the lessons that we have learned. It's possible for now that you are on a difficult small path. You're climbing the mountain. The, mind, the mountain often represents, um, it represents difficulties that we are having a hard time. Maybe we are on a hard journey um, and we need to be uh, more flexible in a positive way here. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, maybe we are looking back and we have some regrets. Um, maybe we are, we are experiencing the past as uh, positive here. But here our mind tells us that we need to be able also to look forward. Um, maybe for now we see uh, very few options. Uh, we probably we are climbing the mountain, we look down and we don't see uh, possibilities. We cannot see here, the person is climbing, but we cannot see what is around the corner here. Here we need to see that um, there are positive, positive things here for us and we need to take these positive things and we need to uh, take the past into the future and it will uh, give us uh, very good possibilities here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, sometimes also uh, this points that we might be alone on our road. Uh, we have certain problems and we see ourselves as a victim or maybe we were victimized. Anyway, here we see that, uh, that our mind is ready uh, to seek for new solutions and there is something here that will resolve itself. Um, here we we are asked, uh, even if the road is difficult, to hold up our head high and see the possibilities that are right behind the corner. But you need to keep climbing. You need to keep uh, take your luggage with you. Um, here we are uh, reminded that the our past is behind us and we have learned a lot from it. But also the future is not yet written and it still be can become what you want it to be. So don't look down, look upwards and see what is around the corner here. So we need to find back here our optimism, our enthusiasm here. There are possibilities here that are that are uh, in store for you for the future. But you need to see them. You need to be willing here to take them. Um, anyway, sometimes also at this point, that we limit ourselves. Maybe we, we, we restricted ourselves. We have no more perspective. We are climbing a difficult road already for a long time. We are not easy to handle anymore. We cannot think positive anymore. Anyway, if we change the attitude here, um, doors are ready for you to go open. Actually, um, if we want to be free from the past, uh, we can be free. We can f set free ourselves free here. Here we need to think with a light hardness here to our mind. And you will see that there are some things coming to you. Uh, the next card that we are seeing here, um, uh, through the years, we build up an ego, a personality, who we are, and we stick to that. Sometimes we become unchangeable here. Um, and sometimes this unchangeability, it can cause damage to others here. Um, sometimes also this points to repetition. Uh, it means that maybe we are getting in trouble and these troubles, um, they 
they repeat itself here. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, it's possible here that we are very focused on ourselves, on our problems, and we don't see actually what is going around, um, uh, what's going around us here. Um, sometimes also it means that we take distance. The mountain can be distant. We take some distance of people here. We act cold. Uh, we reject certain things. It can also make us angry. This is what we are seeing here. And we don't see the creations that we are about to make here. We see the difficulties and here are the creations. You see here, there are four objects here created here. This is what we are seeing here. So we need to be more creative here. It's possible um, due to that our personality is very um, strong, fixed to the earthly, that um, that we brought, brought some difficulties, maybe even damage to other people, maybe in the way we communicate, uh, we cause some damage. damage here. This is what we are seeing here with this card. But here we see that we are the master of our own fate and we can uh, set things uh, straight here. We can repair things here uh, because maybe we cause some uh, issues to other people here. Um, anyway, um, it's possible also the reverse way that some people attacked you, uh, they literally physically attacked you, or you uh, can get into some uh, quarrel for protecting yourself because people disagree with you. So both possibilities are, but it means that we are not creative enough. Maybe we have been careless, uh, maybe we have turned into somebody that we don't recognize anymore, our world has uh, turned upside down here, and sometimes also this points to a loss of confidence. Uh, we need to literally, like the person here in the card, we need to literally clean up and be creative in our world, in our own world, in our own domain here. It's time to clean up the scene, uh, the scene of the crime here, and go back to the level where you actually belong. You, you need to go back to your the level that maybe you lost. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Um, sometimes also, if we communicate with people, some people could, can be very forward to you. Maybe you have disappointed certain people. Maybe they have disappointed you. You are upset. They are upset. And here it's that we need to fix things here. So if there is damage done to you, maybe we need to communicate. If you have done damage to others, uh, we need to communicate here about it. It's very important. Here, this card tells us we are um, still able to fix it um, if we drop some things, because this is what the next card here, we need to make uh, some amends here. We need to be creative and we need to let go of certain things in our life because this is the next card here. Um, it's possible as the first card here, this is also a card of the past. You see here, they drop the ballast here for getting the balloon in a higher level. If we drop the ballast, we can go higher. And this is what is asked from you here. Uh, we need to stop thinking over the past here. Um, we cannot be distracted that um, from the past, we need to find joy in the present moment here. And here we are asked, what is our focus? What, what is on our mind here? Are you focused in the past? Are you focused in the present? Here we need to see here uh, that we are refocusing focusing ourselves. It's possible that we turn around and that um, always in circles, uh, because the Taurus is ruled by Venus and sometimes it tends to go around. Always the circle and the same things pop up again. And it's possible here that a, a, a story, you see here also the path is around and that we climb the mountain, but we seem to climb always the same mountain. And we are clinging to something that we maybe need to let go. And here we are asked if it's not time to let go of certain things out of the, of the past here. Uh, we need to focus more on the present moment, on the future here. You need to see back the beauty of Taurus, the, the beauty of Venus. Uh, Taurus is ruled by Venus and she's the goddess of beauty. So you need to find back the neutral beauty in things, beauty as what it is, just for the beauty of it. So pay attention here, uh, what is in front of you. Um, Notice certain beauties in sounds, music, colors, feelings, people around us here. This is what is asked from you with this card. Um, if you make these changes, you will see that your life and behind the corner, there is something there for you in petal. Uh, here, your life will change for the better. Um, if you don't make the changes, you don't clean, clean up, and you don't choose the right path, you are about to miss out some very important experience from you. And these are 
uh, nice experience that actually are on your doorstep. Here you are asked to take those possibilities, uh, raise your head, and, and you will see if you are able to make the adjustments, these gifts or these presents material or not, um, they might be just what you are looking for. So the present is just on your doorstep, but we need to be able to receive it. So Torres, this is all for the for the for the air group um, or the. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this short philosophical spiritual card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please check the other three that are immediately connected here. I'm sure one of the four fit you. If you're interested in financial or work card readings, you can find those also on my channel or the classic number one card readings. Anyway, Taurus, I want to thank you for your time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I thank you for doing so. Thank you, Taurus, and bye-bye for now. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to the Earth Group or the Stone Group for your uh, philosophical spiritual card reading uh, for the month of January. As your first card here, uh, we see that um, we need to be patient. Uh, normally, uh, Taurus is a very uh, patient sign. Um, it can easily be patient. Uh, it can be calm. And here, this is what is asked uh, from you, uh, that you are uh, calm, that you reside in the, in the moment. Uh, here we see that um, here uh, we see or also that there are um, that we uh, we need to uh, connect uh, with our true selves, with our deeper selves. We need to be patient. Um, anyway, uh, here we see that there are certain things here uh, that we need to establish ourselves more. We need to get more uh, grounded here. Um, maybe we are not uh, flowering in the right way there need to be made some adjustments. Maybe these adjustments uh, are not uh, waiting. Uh, you see here the children, they are about to have fun here. And there are children here who are waiting uh, in row here for going down. Maybe you're uh, waiting here for uh, going ahead on, uh, on life here, for having more joy in life here. This is what we are seeing here. Um, but here we are about, uh, if we make some changes in our life here, we make some creations here. Um, we can uh, go back on the vibe of life here, the vibe of the universe. Um, it's like we need to fuel our personality here. Maybe we can't we become a little bit too strict in life, our personality, our ego, the, the, the personality that we build up, maybe it make us wait for something for to go on the slide of life here. This is what we are seeing here. Maybe we need to be uh, more uh, joyful here. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. And it's like we cannot enjoy ourselves at the fullest here. It's like we're waiting for something and we are not exactly sure on what we are waiting here. But sometimes also this waiting period, it could uh, be like a standstill. You can experience this whole thing as a standstill, but sometimes standstills are not necessarily standstills. In general, the universe has a way of balancing itself out. So it means the time that you uh, physically stand still now or your body stands still is not necessarily so but because normally afterwards it means that we're gonna move faster so things will come after this standstill now that you probably that annoys you uh, and, and and this is in your physical world and you think nothing is happening here it makes me so uh, nervous here uh, and you need to be more patient here afterwards you will see that things will really will bring you on the slide of life. So suddenly, when you are waiting, you're on the top and you're ready to go. But sometimes things seem that they don't move. But what is not seem to move, it's not necessarily so. Sometimes we cannot see. It's like we are undergoing, like here, a psychological transformation. And when we are at the top and we see what is to do, and we are ready to slide, ready to re-begin, we are ready to go. And this is what's happening now. You're, you're waiting here and you're the next one here in line for going down. So we need to relax here. We need to, we need to know that uh, the universe is supporting you. 
even though there is a standstill. There is a goal here for you, but you need to have trust. You need to have trust in this patience here that is put upon you. And you need to put your ego, your personality aside, even if it makes you stressful. You need to find a way here to relieve yourself. Maybe you can do some meditation. Maybe you can take a walk, something that relaxes you because we are asked here to be patient. We need to trust that something is about to happen. The last, the next card here, the little card, it tells us uh, if you have waited long, there's a restart. As I just mentioned here, there's a restart here that, that is um, that is about to happen. Um, mostly this card tells us that things are not uh, going um, as we like them to be. You are not free like the butterfly here. We want to be more free here. Things are not going uh, as we would them. Life is complicated maybe for you. Uh, but here this tells you after this waiting, there will be, these worries will pass. And it's time here that we start over. Whatever the current situation was or is, sometimes here, this situation that we are in, it's created by something bigger than us. For instance, nobody expected two years ago, we are in this situation with viruses around us. It, it turns many people lives upside down. It's something above us we cannot control. But here we are asked to restart. Sometimes Taurus is very fixed. It's a very fixed sign and it could be hard for you to restart. But here we are asked to find solutions. If this world is not created by you and it's created by something else, even though it's created by third parties, we need to be able to restart. If however you create your difficulties, same is asked from you here. We need to accept the current situation and we need to move on. But if it's none of this is, is of course done intentionally, but sometimes things happen, life happens. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Anyway, um, we need to move on here. It's time here. We need to recognize uh, that the situation is there, but also here we are asked to recognize our own inner strength the strength inside ourselves. And some things are not working here for you. And you need to ask yourself, what is working for me? What is not working here? If we are in a repetitive situation here, maybe we go down the slide, we go back up here, and maybe it's a repetitive thing here. And if it is, you need to get out of this repetitive circle. You need to distance yourself from it here because it could be, um, like it's always returning, like a familiar situation, it tends to repeat itself. And here we need to fly. We need to look at the future and see how to avoid this. We need to take the bigger perspective. If we are higher up, we distance ourselves here. We can get a, a bigger perspective here. Um, it's like we need to reconnect with something higher inside of us, uh, our true source of energy here. Maybe the personality that we build up, maybe we feel quite stubborn, we don't want to change, we don't want to move, we created a certain lifestyle, but here we are asked here to, to let go. Even if your ego build up or your personality build up this false security, we need to move away from it. Sometimes also we could feel victimized of certain situations and we could refuse uh, to take responsibilities uh, from these changes and we might not want to um, participate in these changes. But here we are asked to get back on our feet, um, feel the ground back on our, uh, under our feet here. And you need to allow here your mind to correct uh, these less satisfying conditions and circumstances. What is very important with this card and what also comes with this card is that you don't blame yourself. Because if you blame yourself, you go, you literally will go down the drain. This is not the intention of this card. It's actually exactly the opposite. If you, if you let yourself slide down, you will come in a downward spiral. And that's not where you want to be. You want to be here, the next card going up. This is where you want to be and this is what advice you. Anyway, uh, if, you, uh, if you stay as you are, this is not a constructive way to think. You need to build. Taurus like to build things on the long run. You need to find Taurus back here. Um, and if you go in the downward spiral, it's not a good thing. You need to find yourself back, build on the earthly things here. So 
if you are not and you are in, uh, if you are unable to build sometimes also we are asked here to have uh, confidence in our uh, in our faith if you are a religious person if you are not a religious person we are, are uh, asked here to um, make contact with our higher spirituality because here it means also that you can reach out for help and if you ask for certain help in your spirituality in your religion whatever it is you ask help for something higher than we ourselves this this is ready to come to you the next card that we are seeing here uh, we need to look ahead we cannot go in the downwards uh, spiral here and here we need to look ahead but we need to take also the lesson the hard learned lessons that we have we need to take on us you see here the person he's carrying a backpack he's going up uh, up the hill here and he's taking his the luggage of life uh, towards and he's still climbing the mountain the mountain the mountain of life here and it's unclear what is waiting for him or her around the corner uh, anyway sometimes here are ego uh, is a little bit uh, negative here and we need to see here that we need to connect to something else something positive we need to find back the wonders the beauty of life uh, taurus is ruled by venus and venus is the goddess of beauty so excitement wonder beauty uh, nice things are all connected to taurus here and we need to find those back here sometimes our personality it's so it, it be, became maybe so square that there is no uh, roundness anymore. And Venus is round, it's a circle. So you need to find the help back in a roundness. You need to make a round, round the edges round. It's very important to do so here. It's possible that we see ourselves as a, as a victim here, but you cannot do that here. Uh, actually, um, they're here, there are very good solutions here for you, but you need to look in your mind. Um, on the earthly matter, a Taurus can be very quite genius sometimes for, for finding solution, because the earth is ruled by Venus. And actually, the, 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 the solutions are on your path, but you need to open your mind, you need to see them. And also, you are asked here even the luggage that you are carrying out of the past, the mountain that you are climbed is, is heavy. You, you need to hold your head high and you, you need to see the beauty of things because maybe you forgot, maybe you forgot here. And nice things here are, um, are laying in front of you. We need to take the ancient history, the ancient path with us. We need to learn from it. We cannot absolutely not forget it, but the future also, it's not written. So you can still, there's possibilities here, but you need to open, be, it's on your doorstep, but of course you need to be willing to open it here. So we need to be uh, maybe more optimistic, more enthusiastic here, because there's a lot of story in store here for you. Um, nothing can stop it except you. So maybe here, the mountain that we are climbing is very difficult and it limits your perspective because we cannot look around the corner. But maybe around the corner here, we come on the crossroads. And so this is what is asked for you. You need to keep perspective here. You need to keep um, thinking in a positive way because the doors are about to open here for you. You need to set your free, uh, yourself free from certain pasts here. Don't look back. Don't look, look down the mountain here, uh, but look forward here. Um, if you do so, you will see that there is a lot of delight for, for you uh, in store here uh, from the pedal. The journey is long, for fin long from finished here. We are uh, still ready here for moving forward, but you need to see the delight, the joys of life here. Remember here, you are Taurus and Taurus uh, enjoys the delights of life. Anyway, uh, Taurus, this is all for this uh, spiritual philosophical card reading. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit you at all, please check the other three that are connected here for your sign. I'm sure one of the four will fit you. But anyway, Taurus, I want to thank you for your time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I thank you for doing so. Thank you, Taurus, and bye-bye for now. Hello, Taurus, and welcome uh, to um, the... And welcome to the fire group here. I forgot to switch 
the matches here and welcome to the fire group here. Um, this is a very energetic group here and we are immediately going in the first part here. Um, this means that this group is very energetic uh, for the moment because we have here the card that tells us we need to uh, blow off some steam. Um, sometimes also um, Taurus is a very energetic uh, sign, um, it can build up certain angers. And uh, some we know, um, Taurus is not easy to get angry. Uh, they are mostly a calm sign. They control themselves. But here, uh, it might be that you are about to burst. And here, we need to let go of certain angers. You need to find back here your calmness, however you can, maybe by breathing, maybe by letting you help uh, uh, by somebody else here. We need to see that we guide the anger that we build up in another way here. Um, what does this card tells us more? We need to take it easy here. Um, here, it's possible also that you don't recognize this energy in you. But here we see that, uh, that there's a lot of uh, adrenaline inside you. It's like we are ready to attack here. We are uh, the bull in the arena, uh, ready to fight here. We see the red flag here, uh, literally here on the train here, and we are ready to fight here. Um, sometimes when our body is overwhelmed with, with fighting hormones, it's difficult to connect with ourselves here. And it could be caused uh, by certain fears that we are having here. And sometimes, um, even though Taurus is not easy to make quick decisions, it's possible in this state of mind that you are in now, you are about to make rush decisions. But here, we need to find Taurus back. Um, we cannot make these rush decisions. Also, we need to be careful and uh, with words that we are saying here, uh, not to draw uh, conclusions that maybe are irrelevant here. Um, maybe we react in a high horse manner. This is asked from you to take here, to take a break, not to do so. You need to blow uh, some steam off. We cannot uh, draw conclusions that are not there. If you take a break here, you find back your breath here, which is the next card here, you will be able to reconnect with yourself here. Um, there's a certain line of conduct here that we need to refine and we need to let some steam off. Um, whatever it works for you, um, this could be the gym, but this could be hitting a sandbag. For some people, it can mean a walk in the forest. For other people, um, they can, could be in the shower and, and, and scream on the top of their lungs if, you, if your neighbors would allow that at least. But anyway, we need to let go here of certain adrenalines. Whatever works for you is fine. Anyway, um, we need to be aware here also that we are going through a difficult period. And uh, if we have some, uh, some higher spirit, we are religious, we can talk to this higher spirit or to this God that we are having here. Uh, you can growl uh, like a bull, you can uh, scratch your feet in the, in the sand here, but we need to see that we get rid of this uh, steam here uh, that we are having here. If you are not the physical type and you still feel this inside of you, what is also sometimes a good solution is writing things down. You write down your frustrations in a journal. You don't need to share that with anybody here. Uh, you just keep this to yourself, but you need to... Um, you need to re release this. Sometimes the pen is mightier than the sword here and you need to, you can release here your uh, energy also maybe on paper here. You need to wait till this adrenaline rush is vanished here and you start to calm down here. Maybe you build this steam up because uh, steam, it builds slowly up and this is a build up that you have built up due a long period. So you need to let it go. If we steam cook, we know that the steam slowly comes out and this is what needs to happen here. We need to let it go here and we cannot act and react now here. This is what we are seeing here. And if you calm down, if this steam here um, is kind of calm down, uh, we need to, we see that we will go back in the uh, right direction. Sometimes if you are unwilling uh, to blow off the steam, it could mean that people are violent to you it works both ways, or you are violent to other people. It could be physical violence that is put upon you on that you put on other persons. But if you guide it in the right way here, these frustrations, this anger, um, and you uh, unleash them in a neutral way, um, 
then we will see that we come back here. But there's a lot of anxiety here. There's a lot of stress here that comes with this card here, and it's all built up inside of you. Um, this actually it 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 it. it it blocks your higher mind. And also we need to be careful not to hurt ourselves physically. Uh, be careful here um, and find a place, a, a safe place here to unwind. You need to diffuse here with this card um, and uh, see the right perception of the current situation here um, because the, the purpose of this all here is that we find the breath of life back, the right breath of life. We need to relax. The next card is about relaxation here. We work hard, uh, maybe too hard. This card tells us sometimes that we work too hard here. Um, maybe we want to establish um, a feeling of security. And the more we build up, the more we want. But this card actually tells us maybe it's been enough. Maybe for our ego, sometimes for our personality, Taurus likes to collect things. He wants to get very solid. It's ruled by Venus, and Venus likes to have her feet on the ground. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Taurus likes to have his feet on the ground. He likes to know, he or she likes to know where it is. And maybe you work hard for this, but now maybe it might be, this might be the sign that it's enough for this. Maybe you need to reconnect with your mind and catch your breath. Maybe you're literally breathing in the right way. You have you are short of breath and you, you cannot find the breath of life anymore. And here we are asked, the people are lying down here. We are asked to take a break here because we need to find ourselves back. It's possible that you're that you are surrounded or that you are created false urges. Uh, it's never enough. You create its emergencies here, but here we are asked to realign with ourselves. And once you reconnect here, we, re we will realize what is really important for us. And we see the next card here, it's the bridge. It might be that we need to reconnect with some people. This is also, um, the bridge is um, also ruled by Venus. It's that we reach out to others, uh, but we will go right into that. Anyway, once we uh, reconnect with our mind, you will see what is important for you. That's why you need to relax and blow steam off. You need to find your priorities. Priorities here is important. Um, anyway, you need to clear your mind here and find back your inner intuition and your guidance here. We might be needing to reach out for something else, but we need to detach ourselves now. We need to detach ourselves from certain intensities that are going on here, and we need to have faith. Things are good. You are stable enough. Your personality is stable enough but you need to find this in the rest that you are taking. You need to catch your breath. So for some people, this can mean meditation, having faith, whatever works for you here. Uh, there is something here higher of us. Sometimes it's our fate here to come in these conditions, but especially uh, this card tells us not to work overtime, to cut the overtime because it's not the right time now for overtime. And the last card here that we are seeing here um, is that we need to reach out. You see the bridge here. The bridge is uh, ruled by Venus. It's making connections with other people. The Venus is ruled uh, by the ring. The ring, it represents a bridge. We reach out uh, to marriage here. We, uh, we, we, want, we want to reach out to others here. Um, sometimes also... Um, it means out that we need to a lending hand for others. Maybe you can transfer or channel your energy uh, here with you. And we are called on something like that here. Uh, it's not said here. This absolutely don't tell you here that you are turning in 911 and that you need to rescue people here um, with the ambulance. But here, some things are asked from you here. It's like you need to share something. Um, we need to maybe with this card strengthen others. Maybe others around us feel weaker, and we need to reach out here. You see, the people are reaching out. They go over the bridge, and one helps the other. And this is asked for you. Uh, this could be in a service that is required from you, uh, not necessarily financially, but maybe some services are uh, asked from you. Uh, maybe. Um, we lock ourselves down in our in our home, as many of us now, and we are a little bit fearful here to reach other to, to others. Maybe we can. Uh, we are scared that we are perceived weak, but actually it's just the opposite here. But uh, because here, 
this card tells us here that our mind, our higher, higher spirit here is called to help. Um, maybe uh, you need to lend simply a helping hand. Maybe um, there were quarrels and sometimes also we can blow steam off in the quarrels of others. So if others have quarrels, at this points that you actually are able to guide because Taurus can be very calm, as I said, and you can guide the, the, the calmness of Taurus in the anger of others. So actually here, this points that you are actually able to guide also the anger of others. This is what we are seeing here. So you could actually calm down others, comfort others, um, maybe people around you, they forgotten who you are and your help is required to, to help them open their eyes and it also will open your own eyes. So pay attention because certain occasions uh, that require your attention, that require your help uh, are about to come to you. If you read the signs, if you open your eyes in the right way, you will see here uh, that uh, there is something asked from you. There's a, ser a service asked from you here, a fearless service that not necessarily requires money from you. Anyway, we cannot uh, let this distract ourselves here from this service because it's required here. Uh, but as I said here, you're not 911 here. Um, but if you lend these services to others, you will see that it makes you stronger. It, it gives you more uh, faith here. So do what you can in the way you can, uh, what is applying to you uh, for helping those around you to become stronger in their minds. Uh, also, it's asked for you here not to criticize, not to judge, uh, take a higher perspective, distance yourself here. Uh, you are asked here for service, not for judgment or criticism. This is what we are seeing here. So Taurus, this is all uh, for the fire group. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this philosophical, spiritual um, card reading. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. If this card reading don't fit your all, please check out the three that are immediately connected here, I'm sure. One of the four will feed you. Anyway, Doris, I want to thank you for your time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I thank you for doing so. Bye-bye, Doris, and thank you.